Welcome makers, I would like to present you the e-paper, or you can call it also e-ink display, which I bought on dfrobot.com. The size of display is 4.3 inches with the resolution 800 to 600 pixels. It's really big screen. The interface between display and your development board is UART. The connector includes four more pins, power supply, reset and wake up pin. The communication speed is 115-2200, bought by default. The power supply is from 3.3 to 5 volts. The board includes micro SD card slot which supports up to 8 GB, F8032 with 4096 byte size of block. The card can be used for saving of pictures, fonts and more. The built-in NAND flash memory is 128 megabytes. The display is able to show four gray levels. The e-paper can be connected to laptop through USB UART converter. You can use software which is available for Windows operating system. The software can upload, for example, the pictures. You can also upload the text directly and of course you can set the position of the text on the display. The pictures are saved on microSD card or built-in NAND flash memory. If you like the Arduino idea, you can use library for Arduino boards, which you can find on dfrobot.com. The same like the software for controlling of e-paper by laptop. The connectivity between e-paper and board is really easy. As you can see, I used Node MCU development board, which is using ESP8266 integrated circuit which supports Wi-Fi connection, but you can use Arduino, which you like. On the website, waveshare.com offers examples also for STM32F103 nuclear board. Just one short example for description how to use the e-paper with Node MCU development board. Connect the e-paper with Node MCU, RX to TX, TX to RX and then connect power supply. In this example, it's not necessary to use wake up pin and reset. Download the library for ePaper and import that to your Arduino IDE. That's all. Now you can find the example for this ePaper. But we write own short firmware to showing of the text. At first, include epd.h file, then use init function. In the loop, set the color text and background, you can choose up to four levels of gray. Clear the display, set the font and then just write your string and position on X and Y axis. The last command updates ePaper. I hope this review was helpful. If you like the ePaper, check the store dfrobot.com. Thanks for watching and follow this channel.